Welcome back to the Print 3D channel. On this episode of the unboxing, we're going to check out Maker Geek's 3D Geek Box, a monthly subscription for filament and other cool 3D printing stuff, so stick around. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel. Recently, I've been reaching out to other filament manufacturers to get more filaments to test on my channel. And when I reached out to Maker Geeks to see if they would send me one of their 3D Geek Boxes, they said, yes, of course we would. So it arrived the other day, and we're going to unbox it right now, so let's get to it. I've got my trusty X-Acto knife. There might be a box within the box, but let's check it out. Let's open it up and see what we got. Now, Maker Geeks is also a filament and 3D printing supplies company, so you can get a lot of stuff. And I'll put their link down in the description so you can go check out their website. But this box should come with two rolls of filament, some sort of 3D printing tool, some stickers, and some other stuff. So let's check it out. Let's see what we got in this box. All right, here we go. This is the 3D Geek Box. And we have, first off, we have a little package here with some stickers and what looks like a cake spatula. I don't know if you can see that. And there seems to be some sort of a letter telling you what's in the December 3D Geek Box. In this box, you'll find a roll of Crystal Series PLA Red, a spool of Crystal Series PLA Green, and a spool of Crystal Series PETG Clear. So we got three rolls of filament in this box, plus a print removal tool, which is this little frosting spreader, and a couple of cool stickers, which I will add to my sticker collection. So let's check out the filament. All right, so here's the first roll. It's packaged really nicely. It's in a sealed bag and it's a Ziploc bag. That's awesome. So we can seal this back up when we're done using it. And this color looks really, really cool. It's a nice brilliant green color. Let's open it up and see what one filament looks like. It looks like you have to tear it open. So this was done with like a seal meal or some sort of, some sort of device. Uh, where's my X-Acto knife? Let's have to cut this open. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's our first roll of Crystal Series PLA. It's 1.75, so it'll work with my GMAX printer. And let's go ahead and cut open this package and check out some of their filament. And I'll be careful here, I won't cut myself. It's a really great idea having a Ziploc bag for each one of your rolls of filament if you're not storing it in an airtight container. Underneath my little platform here are my airtight containers and all my filament is stored in there, plus a couple of the desiccate bags are stuck in there too. So let's open this up and check out the color of this filament. All right, so here's our little desiccate bag and, ooh, that looks really nice. It's almost semi-translucent. This is gonna be a fun color to print with. So that's our green, so we'll put this aside. And we'll put these off to the side. Let's, and let's bring our box back in. So we know what the filament looks like, so we won't open the other packages. We'll keep them nice and sealed. So this is the red, and this looks really cool. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool. And here is the Crystal Series PETG filament. Now, I've never used this filament before, and I don't know if I need a heated bed, so I'll have to look that up. But it's clear, and it clearly looks clear. No pun intended. So three rolls of filament to test out, so that's pretty cool. And they're all PLA, so they'll work with my printer. And I don't think I need a heated bed, so that'll be fun. So we'll test out these filaments and we'll do a full review of the Maker Geeks filament and I'll release that in a later episode. But this is just an unboxing. So we'll move this out of the way. And let's get back to the little bag of stuff that they sent us. So we have a couple of stickers. Let's check those out. Oh, actually, one looks like it might be a magnet. We'll keep this away from the computer. And a little Maker Geek, so these are pretty cool. And the print removal tool, which it actually says eight inch white handle icing spatula. But it's probably a good, it'll probably be a good print removal tool. It doesn't have a real sharp edge on there, but I can fix that. And if anything, I'll just bend it and make it kind of like one of those build tax spatulas without actually having one. So that's pretty cool. And of course the letter from them explaining everything. And they have what's called their Christmas morning project. And we can download that from their website and we'll check that out later. All right, well that wraps up the unboxing of Maker Geeks 3D Geek Box, a monthly subscription service. 
Now this subscription service is available for $29.95 a month and you can pick your filament and your diameter and I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the website so you can check it out yourself. But I think it's pretty cool and I think I might give this a try. At that price to getting three rolls of filament, I think that's a pretty good deal for only $29.95. But we'll see how the filament prints and that'll be the real judge. So thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel for another product unboxing. I hope you found this episode informative. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, comment and like on those videos, and join me again on the very next episode here on the Print 3D channel.